Yo, what up? This is a new video right here. You know what I'm saying? I want to ask y'all guys this. What are y'all top five favorite hip hop albums from 1987 all the way up to 2002? I want to see y'all guys top five favorite hip hop albums from 87 to 02. You know what I mean? You know, the albums that are just shown on the picture of the screen of this video, those are some of the classic albums that were released around those years. You know, those albums were very ahead of their time. You know, the hip hop classics, very influential, play a big part in hip hop for sure. You know what I mean? So, um, like I said, after y'all finish watching this video, just go in the comment box and give me y'all top five favorite hip hop albums from, 1980, from 1987 all the way up to 02. You know what I mean? So yeah. Here we go. My top five favorite hip hop albums from 1987. We're starting off at 87, right? My top five favorite hip hop albums from 1987 would have to be Eric B. and Rakim's Paid in Full, Boogie Down Productions, Criminal Minded, Public Enemies, Yo, Bum Rush the Show. LL Cool J is bigger and duffer and Ice T Ron Pays. Those are like my top five favorite hip hop albums from '87. You know what I mean? Criminal Minded, Paid in Full, Yo Bum Rush the Show, Bigger and Duffer, and Ron Pays. You know what I mean? Classics. Um, my top five favorite hip hop albums from 1988. All right, my top five favorite hip hop albums from '88 would have to be. Public Enemies, It Takes a Nation of Millions to Hold Us Back, N.W.A. Straight Outta Compton, Eric B. and Rock Kim's Follow the Leader, Ultra Magnetic MC's Critical Beat Down, and EPMD Strictly Business. Those are like my top five from 88. So that's It Takes a Nation of Millions to Hold Us Back, Critical Beat Down, Straight Outta Compton, Follow the Leader, and Strictly Business. All right. Next up is 1989. My top five favorite hip hop albums from 1989 would have to be De La Soul, Three Feet High and Rising, The DLC, No One Could Do It Better, Cool G Rap and DJ Polo's Road to the Riches, and um, BC Boys with Paul's Boutique. So those are like my top five favorites from 89. That's Three Feet High and Rising. No one could do it better. Road to the Riches, Paul's Boutique, and also, um, my bad, Ghetto Boys Grip It on the other level. You know what I mean? So it's like my top five from 89. You know what I mean? 1990. All right. My top five favorite albums from 1990 would have to be Public Enemy, Fear for Black Planet, Ice Cube, America's Most Wanted. Brand Nubians, One for All, LL Cool J's Mama Said Knock You Out, and X Clans to the East Blackwards. Those are like my top five from 1990. Fear of a Black Planet, America's Most Wanted, One for All, Mama Said Knock You Out, and to the East Blackwards. You know what I mean? 1991, my top five from 1991 would have to be The Low End Theory. By Trial Call Quest, Ice Cube, Death Certificate, Game Star, Stupid D Arena, De La Soul is Dead, and Main Source, Breaking Atoms. Yep, those are my top five from 91. The Low End Theory, Stupid D Arena, De La Soul is Dead, Death Certificate, and Breaking Atoms. Alright. 1992. My top five from 1992 would have to be. Dr. Dre's The Chronic, Pete Rock and CL Smooth's Mecca and the Soul Brother, Red Man What the Album, Gang Stars Delhi Operation, and Eric B and Rock Kim's Don't Sweat the Technique. Those are like my top five favorite from '92. The Chronic, Mecca and the Soul Brother, Delhi Operation, What the Album, and Don't Sweat the Technique. You know what I mean? 1993, my top five from '93 would have to be. Into the Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers, Black Moon, Into the Stage, 
A Tribe Called Quest, Midnight Marauders, and Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style. Those are my favorites from 93. Into the Wu-Tang 36 Chambers, Doggy Style, Into the Stage, and Midnight Marauders, and, um, what else? Um, I'm going to have to also go with um, Lords of the Underground, Here Come the Lords. You know what I mean? Alright. So, yeah. 1994, folks. 1994. My top five favorites from 94 would have to be Nas, Illmatic, Notorious B.I.G.'s Ready to Die, O.C.'s Word Life, Organized Confusion, Stress the Extinction Agenda, and J. Wood Damages, The Sunrise in the East. Those are like my favorite albums from 94 right there. Illmatic, Ready to Die, Word Life, Stress the Extinction Agenda, and The Sunrise in the East. You know what I mean? 1995, my top five from 95 would have to be Only Built for Cuban Links, Liquid Swords, the infamous Me Against the World from Tupac and um, Big L's Lifestyles so of the Poor and Dangerous. So it's like my top five favorite albums from 1995. That's Raekwon's Only Built for Cuban Links, Jizzle's Liquid Swords, Tupac's Me Against the World, Mob Deep's The Infamous, and Big L's Lifestyles so of the Poor and Dangerous. All right, 1996 will have to be Jay Z's Reasonable Doubt, De La Soul Stakes Is High. Nazis, it was written. Ghostface Killers, Iron Man, and Outcasts, AT Aliens. Those are like my top five favorite hip hop albums from 1996. That's AT Aliens, Reasonable Doubt, It Was Written, Stakes Is High, and Iron Man. You know what I mean? At 96, we come up with 97. All right, my top five favorite albums from 97 will have to be Life After Death. In My Lifetime by Jay-Z, um, O.C.'s, Jewels, and um, Wu-Tang Forever. Those are my top five favorite hip-hop albums in 97. That's Biggie's Life After Death, Jay-Z's In My Lifetime, O.C.'s, Jewels, Wu-Tang Forever, and um, Company Flow's Front Crusher Plus. I know I'm messing up. Don't judge me. I know. But sometimes I get mixed up with shit nowadays, you know what I'm saying? But fuck it is what it is. So those are like my top five from 97, you know what I mean? Okay, 1998 would have to be Outcast of Clemina, Jay-Z's Volume 2 Hard Knock Life, Gangstar's Moment of Truth, Big Pun's Capital Punishment, and Most Deaf and Talib Kweli are Black Star. Those are my top five favorite albums from 98. That is Aquimini, Hard Knock Life Volume 2, Capital Punishment, a fucking Most Definitely Live Quality Are Black Star, and Moment of Truth. Alright? 1999 will have to be The Slim Shady LP by Eminem, Most Deaths Black on Both Sides, Jay Z's Volume 3, Lysitons of S. Doc Carter, and The Roots, Things Fall Apart. You know, Black on Both Sides is 1, Volume 3 as 2, The Slim Shady LP is 4, Things Fall Apart is 5, and Dr. Dre is The Chronic 2001. Those are my top 5 from 1999, alright? 2000 will have to be The Martial Madness LP by Eminem, Jay-Z's The Dynasty, um, Prodigy's H&IC, Ghostface Killer Supreme Clientele and Big L's The Big Picture. Yeah, I said it. So it's like my top five from 2000. That is The Martial Mass LP, The Dynasty, HNIC, um, what, what I said, um, fuck. Supreme Clientele and The Big Picture. My bad, folks. Those are like my top five, you know what I mean, from 2000. 2001 would have to be the Jay Z's The Blueprint, Nas Stomatic, Cormega's The Realness, Ludacris Word of Mouth, and um, Beanie Siegel's The Reason. Those are like my top five favorite from um, 2001. The Blueprint, Stomatic, The Realness, Word of Mouth, and The Reason. Alright? 
2002 will have to be. 2002 will have to be. Nas Godson. The Lost Tapes. The Eminem Show. Lord Willing. And um, Scarface The Fix. Those are like my favorites from 2002. Godson. The Lost Tapes. The Eminem Show. Clips Lord Willing. And Scarface The Fix. Alright. So yeah, those are my top five favorite hip hop albums from '87 to '02. So yeah, folks, give me y'all thoughts in the comment box. Give me y'all list. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that was it for the video. Hope y'all enjoy it. Salute.